while three females were attempting to withdraw money from the ATM. Well, Lachey Jackson and Justice Watford have reported that they were robbed by armed gunmen and their money was taken, a vehicle was stolen, along with their friend Cassandra was kidnapped inside the vehicle. An extensive search was immediately started by the Falls Park Police Department in order to try to find Cassandra. We had very limited information to go on. We didn't have her last name and or description of her vehicle. However, after an extensive nine-hour search, we were able to locate Cassandra safe at the Travel Lodge Inn located in College Park. She was subsequently interviewed. During that interview, she stated that she had no idea what was going on, that she was not kidnapped, that she was never in any danger, and that she had been at the Travel Lodge all night long and all morning long. She had loaned her car to Lachey. She knew that Lachey had her vehicle. However, the vehicle at that time was not recovered, and as of this day, the vehicle is still missing. Uh, based on this information, we tried to reach back out to uh, Lachey Jackson and Justice Watford to relay the information to them that we have received. Since that time, they have refused to make contact with us, and we have not been able to reach out to them. But based on the information that the alleged kidnapping victim gave us, that she was not kidnapped, we have taken out uh, arrest warrants for Ms. Lache Jackson and Justice Watford. Both of them at this time have been charged with giving false statements and obstruction of law enforcement officers. The investigation into the armed robbery is still ongoing, and we are wanting uh, Ms. Jackson and Ms. Watford to uh, come to the Forest Park Police Department, turn themselves in so we can interview them further about this case. Captain, do you still believe there was an armed robbery? That is still undetermined at this point. Um, however, the validity based upon what Ms. Cassandra has told us, the armed robbery report is still in question. You were looking at video surveillance or attempting to from around the area. Were you successful in that? We have found some, yes. That corroborates what was said? Uh, it does not, not this time, no. Unfortunately, there were many cameras around the area, but only one picked it up and it was from the ATM. However, it just shows whoever's standing in front of the camera. It doesn't really show the parking lot or anything. So what makes you believe that this is still true at all? We're still investigating that. We want to speak to them to see if it is still true. Uh, we know the kidnapping did not take place, but we're still investigating that the armed robbery occurred. And the car is still not, uh, I mean, could they have, uh, a speculation, but I mean, could they have done something to the car and came up with this story to cover it, that up? Possible, but at this time it's unknown. Uh, would you go ahead and put your name on the tape, please? Uh, Captain James Delk. D-E-L-K. So these, these photographs that you have here, uh, dated 8-5-15, uh, tell us what these photographs are from. Uh, uh, one photograph is uh, Ms. Lachey Jackson, one of them is Ms. Justice Watford. They are the driver's license photographs. The date is just the date that we actually inputted them into our computer system. So the date really it's is not It's not a past record. It is not. Okay. Captain, can you recount for us, I mean, when you brought those women in, because you questioned them, can you recount their story about what happened that night? Their story was is that uh, they had all three gone to the ATM, and Lache was going to deposit some cash. While she was at the ATM, she saw some suspicious vehicles. Uh, she became concerned and decided not to make her deposit, and she walked back over to Cassandra's car, where Cassandra was in the front seat, and um, Justice was in the front passenger seat. Cassandra was driving with her vehicle. While she got back in the car, they were approached by masked and armed gunmen who demanded they get out of the car, took their cash, and Justice and Lachey got out of the car. However, they grabbed Cassandra, dragged her back over the seat into the back seat with one of the armed gunmen in the back seat. The second armed gunman got into the driver's seat and drove off with the car with Cassandra still inside. I know this would be speculation, but if the story's made up, what would be the motive? It's time to motive. Well, I have no idea. But basically, they're saying Cassandra was driving the car, and Cassandra saying, "Oh, it's in the hotel the whole night." I mean, clearly, that's correct. Cassandra, when we when we found her, uh, of course, it was a nine-hour search to try to find her. We had limited information, just her first name. Uh, valuable resources and time went into finding her, and we were able to find her. And you, that's correct. She knew she knew nothing about being kidnapped. Knew nothing about the incident. Did she come forward? Well, once we found her, she didn't know anything about it. We had to, once we found her, she, she, she didn't know anything about it. So you still had to find her? She didn't see the, all this on the news and come no, forward? No, sir. She did not come forward. We had to find her. 
How much manpower went into finding all, doing all of this? Every detective here at the Forest Park Police Department were assigned to this investigation. Uh, we also were in the process of seeking assistance with the FBI, okay. and so an extensive man hour and manpower went into trying to find. Did you Cassandra. interview Cassandra? I did not personally know. Okay, the one who your detective who interviewed Cassandra, did that detective find her to be believable? Yes. Yes. We also have um, other substantiating information showing that she had been there at the hotel from other witnesses that she was actually another person that she was actually with. Captain, the story was that these two women barely knew Cassandra. Is that true? We believe that is true. That's still true. Yes, sir. We Why was she loaning her car to people she barely knew? I, 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 Right. Yeah, that, no. Completely, completely on a on question I cannot answer. So you want these people to turn themselves in? We would yeah. like for them to turn themselves in because we want to speak to them further. We want to see if the armed robbery story, because it's still going to take a place, we still want to speak to them and see if that is uh, fabricated as well. So you believe they're on the run? At this time, we have reached out to them. We've been by their house. We spoke to family members. And the information that I received last night was is that one of them anyway is scared. And so, yes, we believe that they're avoiding contact with the police. Uh, other than uh, what appears to be false reports, uh, what other crimes uh, would fit likely in this scenario? Is it a stolen car or what, what, what other, other than false reports, what, what other crimes may we be looking at? Uh, possibly stolen car, depending upon what happened to the vehicle. Uh, right now they're charged with false statements and obstruction. Okay, and do you all know where that vehicle is now? The vehicle's still missing. And how serious are those charges? I mean, what are you, what are you looking at? Yes. False statements is a felony. The structure is a misdemeanor. Thank you. I appreciate it, sir. Well, just one other thing. Uh, the message to your Forest Park citizens about uh, the precious use of manpower. This was, this was precious use of manpower. It took uh, nine hours to find Cassandra. That was time that could have been used to investigate other crimes taking place in the city. And we would just like to know the citizens of Forest Park know that, that, that kidnapping did not occur. And we wanted to make sure we got that out to everyone. But it did take away precious resources to investigate other crimes. Hey, one, one last question. I see here that the, the women said that they were dropped off at the hotel where Cassandra was. On the false statements, it says that the accused... Oh, you're either warrant. Oh, we the warrant. Okay. Yes. Yes. Lachey, in justice, actually dropped off Cassandra and her friend at the hotel. And who told who to say that they were kidnapped? And later had... Lachey had later contacted Cassandra and told her that she had to give false information to the police and tell the police that she was kidnapped. So this was after this was all on the news, she asked her to come up with an alibi story. Yes. A, a story to cook. Yes, to that's their place where we're sitting, yes. And of course, Cassandra didn't go along with it? No, no, Cassandra had not, wanted nothing to do with it. Once, once we found her, she was more than willing to come in and speak to us. And, uh, How did you find your family had her first name? Uh, good detective work. It's just good detective work. Like I said, we have every detective here at the department involved in this. It was just, just good detective work. Following, following leads, uh, anything that we could find. And we were able to track her down through family members, through leads. Um, it was difficult. She does stay from hotel to hotel like we had been given information. And just through good detective work, we were able to find her. Thank you.